Okay, now here's a tree that I'm not so sure about. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's a few of them around here, but I haven't seen many of them. I'm not sure what they are. They're interesting, though. And there's a bird up there. I can't tell whether it's a pigeon. Like the pigeons seem really big here. But I can't tell. Oh yeah, see there it goes. I think it was just a dove. Here's a neat little sculpture. Like a tree sculpture, it looks like. Let's see if I just look up, there's just three of them right there, and I can't, I really can't tell what they are. I'm gonna have to look when I get home. And this is what the bark looks like on them. Thinking it's some sort of pine. Right there looks like the road, so we won't go that way. Figure it out a different way. Alright, we'll do a little bushwhacking. Why not, right? It's all this kind of thorny stuff, actually. I realize why bushwhacking would be kind of a bad idea, but... Oh, well. Pretty little stream.
just some sequoias over there, but check it out in a minute. <clears throat> and there's a uh, bird box. I'm not sure what, what kind it is. But it looks big. I mean, the hole on it looks like it's about three, four inches in diameter. So. Lovely box for the squirrels, I'm sure. Though I haven't seen many squirrels. It's interesting. So let's see. Look more like, like cedars, maybe? Let's check it out. Let's see what kind of cones are on the ground. I think you can tell there's been logging in here. But it's nice. They've left all the, uh, yeah, looks like cedar. Oh, and I wish the video was better on this. It's not very good quality, but that is the cone. And then there's just a small, looks like just a little kind of grove of them all in here. It's really neat that they left them though. I like that. I do see blue, blue paint, which I'm guessing probably means to save, I'm hoping. Anyways. I do like this one tree in the back though, specifically, and I don't know why. It's just got a pretty neat kind of straightness, and they all are straight. Um, look, looks like um, some holly. I think. That's this little guy right here. I don't know. I just... I like... I like him. I don't know. But see, like again, it's got that little squirt of blue paint. So we'll come back, I don't know, next weekend or whatever, see if they're still here. But I hope they are.
no idea what that means. <laughs> And this looks like we got some sort of spruce. be a cool tree to climb. It's not too high, but it's got these nice big branches off of it. It's really nice. Yeah. This is when I wish I had my ropes. Let's see. I'm seeing another little evergreen kind of grove little thing over here. Let's go check it out. Big one right here. Oh, oh man, I wish I had my ropes. Oh, you see that big one right there, right in front of us in the back? Oh, wow. It's just so cool. A couple more over right in the back there. And you got this other big tree. Sorry about the sun, I'll get it on the way back as well. That's a neat one. Okay. What kind of tree are you? Branch that's fallen off. 
So it's really full and just got a lot of needles on it. It's really actually they're soft needles. They're not they're not too too spiky. Um, if I was stuck out here, I'd make a bed out of it. I think it's it's that soft. But, but that's it. It almost looks fake actually, but it's it's not. It feels fake too, but it like I said, it's not. So. I'll have to figure that out when they get home as well. I just... The trees are so big back here, it's killing me that I don't have my ropes. I mean, these trees have got to be... 100... Uh... I don't know, 110... 100... maybe 20 feet or so, I guess. I mean, just really big big trees. Yeah, let's take a walk back here. Let's check out these back ones, too. I just massive. You just go up. kicking myself for not coming here before. It's, it's really a bummer I haven't been here before. So there they are. And I really, I mean, they're just they're pretty big. I wish I had something I could put the camera on. A little critter or something moving around right in there. One of those birds. Let's see, I mean, these two right here look like the biggest. Let me see if I can grab a stick. Oh, I think I just found a sequoia. Or a couple of them, anyways. Hold on, let me get something to put. Here we go. This work. Bunch of interesting little critters down there. Battery's almost dead, which is a bummer. Let's see if I can go check out these trees real quickly before the battery dies. And maybe I'll run home and grab another battery. It's not too far. Oh yeah, <laughs> here we go. No, 
not find any any chondra, but I mean, look at the bark on this. I mean, it's just massive. And it's soft. It's like spongy. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a sequoia. Okay, so let me see. Find anything? No, just like beach nut shells. But I'm um, I'm. Um Really quite certain this is a redwood. I mean, you could just hear kind of how spongy it is. Oh, but it's so neat. And then it's got a blue stripe. I have to look it up. I don't know if blue stripe means save or cut. I mean, California blue squirt of paint means cut. But I don't know about six ones. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I mean, it's like a salmon shot, and maybe a cool little bouldering area over here. Then, let's check this out. This tree just has like the perfect cone shape at the top. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a big rock. I wonder who put that there. So yeah, again, I'm thinking these look like cedars, but then they have that bark. I really don't know. I'm not sure. But it's that funny bark again. Let's see. I wish I could find some cones. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Alright, so, this almost makes me even a little more excited, because this is the cone. I mean, tiny. Really tiny. So I think it's a cedar, actually, because I'm pretty sure cedars are, are, are pretty tiny. But either way, I mean, the size of this is just huge for a cedar. I don't know. I don't know what kind of cedar it is, but I mean it is massive. I want to go check out. You can just see some out in the back. I want to go check that out. And then it'll just be another video of me walking because I'll probably go home. So maybe get another battery. Oh, it's a beautiful day. And here we go, it almost almost feels like the redwoods, I mean like like small ones. Oh, and here we go. There's a squirrel. My first squirrel. I don't know if you can see him peeking around the corner of this tree. Let me see if I can get up closer. Where'd you go, buddy? There he goes. Running up the tree. That's him, right on that little branch. Right, oh, right there. <laughs> that was a horrible pointing job. Alright, here's the bark on these trees again. And I mean, these trees are, oh, let me zoom out, sorry. 
big trees. There you go, ready? I'll go. See, I'll find the biggest. That looks like the biggest. <laughs> That's awesome. And these trees are over, easily over 100 feet tall. And the size of them are just massive.
<clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking now I'll go home and upload this video because that'll take a while. This is a long video. The video for the bike took like 20 minutes and that was a 5 minute video. This one's got to be close to half an hour now, I'm guessing. And it's going to be a long one. Just kind of looking back on the forest again. <clears throat> There's a lot more forest here than I thought there was, though. Like, I mean, kind of in just a, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like, it's kind of countryside-ish, I guess. But, it's not really. I had no idea it would be this big. I mean, it's big. too hard. Beautiful way to go walking. This is a place I'm really going to miss. I'm going to have to come home though. So and yes, I'm doing the, the walking video thing. My request for the little stream here. We didn't see that before. Yeah, it just goes under this little bridge here and pops out in this kind of nice little pool here. It goes down. And here we go. All these little birds and the little bushes like that, it's probably good for them to see there's some of them. It looks like now, it looks like the video will last all the way out. Which is good. And there's a neat beech tree. I don't know if I got that one in the beginning. Maybe, I don't know, I'll film as much as I can on my way back to the house so you guys can see where the forest is in comparison to the apartment. And here you walk out. Always look both ways. And there we go. Oh, look at the big doggy. Almost what I'd expect Cora to look like when she gets older. <laughs> she just yells at him and said, Bouge ta fesse, which means, come on, move your butt. So, I think I like her stuck on. So, 
So this is the road, that's that stop where I stopped the other morning. And then you make a left turn and then that's where I zoomed in kind of over in that area. But this is, I mean that's the apartment building right there. So it's not, it's not this, it's not this one, but it's this one. So let's see, yeah, this video is 57 minutes. Wait, hold on, why is it counting down? I don't know why it's counting down. So I think I can only take like a two hour video on this, which is not bad. I mean, who would want to sit and watch one of my videos for two hours? I mean, I would sit and watch my own video if it was with those sequoia looking trees. You know, cedar or whatever. I would watch that for two hours. But, that's just me. Everybody knows I'm a chicken head. Okay, and then our balcony. Let me see. Um, Alright, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four. It's just in the back, like right there. I think that's ours. Anyway, this is my building. <laughs> Just kind of look around, there's a bunch of other kind of apartment buildings over there. Oh, this little battery lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Let me turn and walk down the sidewalk. And then see, there's another yellow apartment building. I don't know if that's like Fernando and Papa. I don't know if that's the one you've been looking at. <laughs>